This is Eugene Panritkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP 15-AW laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a HP Pavilion 15-AW laptop. Uh, before we start, a couple of things we need to go over. First, uh, this is a touch screen model, but for this particular model, model, the touch layer and the screen itself, the LCD, is integrated into just one piece. So there are models that have the glass touch layer on the top and the LCD screen in the back. This is not one of those models, it's just one piece. Second thing is we need to make sure we're working on the right model number because 15 is a pretty common series and there are several screens and several different procedures for this. To find the right model number, we look on the bottom and a very faint writing on the bottom right of the label on the bottom, we see model 15-AW053NR. As a rule, the procedure for everything that starts with 15-AW will be the same. The numbers after that just signify the processor type and the memory and who the laptop goes to. Okay, uh, this one, this laptop does not have a removable battery. So we have to make sure that the laptop is turned off when we're working on it. So you can completely turn off when you're inside Windows. Make sure it's not on sleep mode. And if all else fails, do a long press on the power button. Press the power button for four seconds to make sure it's completely turned off. There should not be any flashing or blinking lights anywhere on the laptop. Next, we're going to go over the tools we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the screwdriver size. We have a smaller PH0 electronics screwdriver. A spudger for uh, prying things open. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck or for manipulating things. And finally, a uh, hobby knife or exacto knife and that's to lift up adhesive tape. So first thing we have to do is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. For this particular model there's no um, there's no screws that are securing it so we can just snap it off. What we want to do is put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and just uh, look for a spot where we can start lifting the screen bezel. This does have some adhesive, so first you'll feel some adhesive coming off. And then once we work our way around the screen, it starts to come off and snap off. So just lift up and out. If you get stuck at a particular point, just uh, keep moving to a different place and come back to the point that you're stuck on. So, and we keep moving down here. And going around, you can see that adhesive. Okay, on the bottom, there is some tape that's attached to the screen, so you wanna separate with your fingertip this tape from the bezel itself. So we keep moving around and finally we're done. So since we're replacing the screen, this tape doesn't really matter in this case, but we just want to keep our workspace nice and clean. Okay, so next step is to remove the screen from the screen assembly. It has metal mounting tabs on top and bottom, and we have to remove the two screws on top and two screws on bottom from the metal mounting tabs. So to do this, we use our PH1 screwdriver, and we make sure that the screen is tilted back while we're doing this. And we go around and remove the four screws.
One, two, three, four. Okay, next we lift up the screen by the mounting tabs and gently lay it down on the keyboard. When we do this, uh, be careful with the power button so you don't turn on the power button while we uh, do the procedure. Okay, after this, we want to remove the connector from the screen itself. And to do this, we use our hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up to lift up the adhesive tape until we get a good grip on it. And gently remove the adhesive tape. And this is has a pretty strong grip to it, so we're going to take it slow and be careful as not to damage the connector. Once we do that, we grab the connector by the back and gently slide it out. All right, uh, we're going to slide the connector back in to show how to properly connect it. To properly connect it. Slide it back in. You'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up of the connection. Pause the video right here. This, um, there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. Two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, so we take it out and we take a look at this screen again. All right, this is a 15.6 inch touch screen assembly that's integrated with the LCD and it has a this one has a 40 pin connector on the bottom right and the part number for this is N156BGN-E41 right and it does have a glossy finish and it's WXGA resolution that means 13 1366 by 1360 by 766 I believe all right, you can uh, order the screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is we have a compatibility guarantee so that we will research and find the right screens for each laptop, and if we don't ship you the right screen, we'll take it back and ship the, the right one at no cost. The second thing is we provide this exact same toolkit that I use in this video for free with the screen. We have free email technical support and a two year warranty on our screen. To buy this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There'll be a short form for you to fill out and then they'll guide you to buy the right screen online. Once you do receive the screen, make sure it looks like the original screen. The part number on the screen may be different but it should be compatible with the same resolution and the same connector location. Reconnect the connector like I showed you before. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on. And that's it. You should be ready to go. Okay, uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.